Welcome one and all, I'm Alexis aka The Soft Reader and I'm here today to do my fairy loot unboxing. So obviously you'll notice that this is the bookshelf you typically never see um, and that's because I rearranged my entire apartment because I got a new couch and I haven't fixed my other bookshelves yet so you're just gonna have to deal with this setup for the time being. Um, I'm really excited to open this fairy loot box. I've never gotten a fairy loot box before but I specifically splurged and got this one because I was really excited about the theme and the book inside, so I'm really excited to open this. Obviously, if you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch this video, because uh, from here on out it's going to be nothing but spoilers. If you guys have never watched my videos before, I absolutely love to try and predict what the book is, and I'm pretty sure the book in this one is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyon, um, which is like a female-female, super, super dark fantasy um, that's like Asian inspired. I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure again that that's gonna be the book inside But let's go ahead and open it So the first thing is actually the card for the month and this month's theme was beautiful deceptions and that is the thing um, And it's really pretty fairy loot always has a really really pretty art on their uh, On their cards every month and the next thing I see are these um, but buttons that are shadow and bone themed um so it's like master the small science and it's like which order are you and so it has like the reddish orange for the corporalki the like bluish for the etherealki and then like the purple for the materialki but i really like this this is super cool you guys know i absolutely adore the grisha trilogy so i'm really excited to have these i can't wait to see where i'm gonna put them the next thing i see um is an alien candle um and it has her full name and it has a little fan art on it if you hear a weird sound in the background, that's my cat licking the insides of this box because for some reason he likes to lick plastic because he's a weirdo. I don't know. So if you hear a strange sound in the background, that's what it is. Um, and this candle is lemon, verbena, and fire. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, that smells really cool and it has like a little blue ring of like sparkles in it, but it smells really good. I love lemon flavored candles. Like, ugh so good and the next thing is that there's a green and mint tea loose leaf tea um i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to use this because my cat literally just licked the bag and it's gross and wet so that's cool but it's from the tea leaf company um and it's green and mint tea and i love green tea but i don't know if i'll be able to use this anyway because you guys know i'm i can't do mint stuff because mint's a little I, I think i might actually be allergic to it but I know somebody who will appreciate this. Or I'll just let my cat like more holes in the bag. I don't know. So next is a card deck that is the Cruel Prince themed by Holly Black. And I guess it's characters. Um, it's all in plastic. Let me open it up real quick. So there are character cards in the front. And then it's actually like a deck of cards and stuff. Um, which is really, really cool. Again, I haven't read the Cruel Prince yet. But I love like fan art. Like cards is like weirdly my thing so i adore these the next thing i see i absolutely am in love with and it's this really beautiful keychain um with a quote from the winner's curse by maria rukowski and it says isn't that what stories do make real things fake and fake things real and it's like in the shape of a book and like oh my goodness that is absolutely beautiful I am shook. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but this is too pretty to not be on display somewhere. Um, I might go take it and hang it up at work because it's really pretty and I want to stare at it every day while I'm doing my job. The next thing I see are these pair of socks, which I believe are Red Queen themed. And I love getting socks in subscription boxes. Like, it's my favorite thing. And these are really, really soft and they're really cute and they're red queen themed and i'm so excited oh my goodness the next item you guys is so so good it is a beanie that says no mourners no funerals on it and it's very warm and i'm sure it looks terrible on me right now because i can't actually see my head but I love it so much and it never gets really cold where I live but as soon as it drops to like any moderate cold you can bet I'm gonna be wearing this all the time. Okay so a couple of like bookmarkish things is there's a little promo bookmark for the Sock Hill Girls by Claire Legrand and also one by for the Poppy War by R.F. Kwong which is a book that I haven't gotten to yet but I'm dying to read because everyone and their mother has absolutely loved it. So 
two little bookmarky things and I love stuff like this because I like to have bookmarks. And finally the book and if you guys didn't know fairy loot books always come in like a little bag and oh my god I haven't even seen it yet but it has pink sprayed edges on. Oh my god I am so happy. If you guys didn't know, pink is my favorite color, and like sprayed edges in general is just great, but like that's pink. Oh my god, okay, let me just open the book and show you guys. So the book is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyon. I don't think this cover is that different from the original. I don't know if it was supposed to be an exclusive cover, but this cover is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's rainbow because it has a female female romance, and I love that. And it's just. <sighs> Guys, I can't get over the pink sprayed edges. I'm gonna be staring at this book for like a thousand years. Um, and it does come signed by the author, and it's got like pink writing to match the sprayed edges. Guys, I'm gonna be talking about these sprayed edges for like 90 years. I'm so excited. Like, wow. Oh, wow. Am I super pumped? And then the lecture stuff is we do have a bookmark with the month. Um, there's the little book that shows the information about the stuff that's inside. So this is what the fairy loot cover looks like, and this is actually what the traditional cover looks like. Um, so it's the same picture, but it's just like edited color-wise a little bit different. Um, still a beautiful cover, but like between the rainbow, like between the rainbow and the pink spray edges, like I'm going crazy. I'm so excited. And also included is this fan art. Um, and then on the back is the letter from the author, but oh my gosh! And as always, um, I'm gonna read you what the plot is about, and then I also do want to make sure I mention something else that's in this book. Each year, eight beautiful girls are chosen as paper girls to serve the king. It's the highest honor they could hope for, and the most demeaning. This year there's a knife, and instead of paper, she's made of fire. Lei is a member of the paper caste, the lowest and most persecuted class of people in Ikara. Ten years ago, her mother was snatched by the royal guards, and her fate remains unknown. Now the guards are back, and this time it's Lei thereafter, the girl with the golden eyes, whose rumored beauty has piqued the king's interest. Over weeks of training in the opulent but oppressive palace, Lei and eight other girls learn the skills and charm that befit a king's consort. There, Lei does the unthinkable. She falls in love. Her forbidden romance becomes enmeshed with the explosive plot that threatens her world's entire way of life, and Lei, still the wide-eyed country girl at heart, must decide how far she's willing to go for justice and revenge. Um, which sounds so good, and like I said, so many people I know have absolutely adored this book. Um, but there is a note in here, and I do want to make sure I mention it to you guys. Um, it says, please be aware that this book contains scenes of violence and sexual assault. Um, and that was a thing that friends of mine who had read the ARC were like, it's really important to mention that was this book because it is prevalent. Um, so just keep that in mind if you are interested in this book, that it does contain scenes of violence and sexual assault. Um, and just tread carefully with that. But alright you guys, so that was my first fairy loot. And I'm going to be completely honest, I loved it. I love everything in this box. Even the minty stuff that I can't use, I still love. Fantastic. I loved everything. I'm so excited. Like, oh my gosh, fairy loot's really expensive for me because I'm not from the UK. Um, so I can't do a fairy loot like every month. I wish I could, but I can't. But I definitely am going to be interested in checking out more fairy loot boxes in the future because pink spray to edges, guys. I am never going to let this go. This is like Christmas came early for me because I am just so excited. Pink spray edges on one of my most anticipated releases that's just like a beautiful story and I just, ugh, I'm so excited. Alrighty guys, so that was my fairy loot unboxing. Um, let me know your thoughts on any of the items in this box or if you've read Girls of Paper and Fire, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And yeah, so I'm really excited I got to do this. I'm, you know, happy to be filming a video. Hi guys, this is my face again. Um, but I try to upload videos at least twice a week. Sometimes it doesn't happen because of my schedule, but I try. If you like what I do, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!